So are you looking for that cool new place to go for food or drinks that has not been discovered yet? That means there's no crowd mm. yet. Well, the garden might be just that spot. It's located in Bay Park's industrial area. Tomorrow is the grand opening and Sean Stiles gives us a preview. San Diego has a ton of great places to eat and drink, but because they're cool, they get very crowded quickly. Well, I've got the new cool place. It's called The Garden. Beer, pizza, wine, and mead all in one location. And the grand opening gets going this weekend. The Garden is located at the south end of Bay Park on Bank Street. It's a collective of businesses offering San Diegans food and drink in a unique setting. Everybody was, has been looking for a cool, interesting, fun place to go where they can get food and drink and be outside. And we've kind of, we've provided that here. Morris Nussball, or Mo as he's known, is the co-founder of Deaf Brewing, which didn't follow the usual IPA brewing path. We're more focused on the, the classic uh, European style beers. Deaf Brewing lets you sit right next to where the beer is being made. Here you can come and get beers that are inspired by those beers, but they are local fresh. So they, they were brewed right behind me. This while enjoying an open garden setting. Next door is Lost Cause Meadery. What is mead, you ask? Here's co-owner and mead maker, Billy Belts. It's the oldest alcoholic beverage in the world. The majority of the fermentables are honey, but you can also have fruit, spices, uh, it can be dry or sweet, light or rich. Lost Cause Meadery produces some of the best in the world. The Mesa Cup International is the world's largest mead competition, and we've done pretty well over the last four years. We've actually uh, brought home the most medals of any meadery in the world from uh, 2019 to now. The garden takes you into the workspace. Here you're getting the full experience of being immersed in the, the, the production facilities, the the creativity that happens in those spaces. Um, and there's just something different about that. To make the garden complete, Pizza Cassette was asked to join. So we're using like classic traditional methods to make the dough and pizza, and then we're using modern and non-traditional methods to top the pizzas. Jimmy Terwilliger is the co-owner, co-chef, and when he says non-traditional, he's not kidding. Our most popular pizza, we call the Hornet's Nest. It's got um, tomato sauce, fresh mozzarella, soppressata salami, which is like a little bit of a spicy salami, but not too spicy. And then um, fresh jalapenos, and then it goes into the oven. And after it comes out, it gets a drizzle of our uh, house-made Thai chili oil. Pizza Cassette's focus is on ingredients that are as local and as fresh as they can be to go with the unique setting of the garden. I feel like we really uh, lucked out partnering with both Lost Cause and Deaf Brewing because they both have unique beverages and their own like solid customer bases. And that's what makes the garden work, a sharing of different customers that cross over and sharing a space that brings them all together. So if you're looking for that new cool hip place that's off the beaten path, the garden just might be the place for you. Grand opening this Friday, music on Saturday, things get going at noon. Prost.